Welcome to my channel. I'm in front of a special shop here in Basel called the House of Herbs, where I want to get some chamomile flowers for the making of an oat milk soap. I'm using 90% olive oil for this recipe and I want to infuse it first with chamomile flowers. Chamomile is known for its calming properties. I am preparing the infusion by simply adding some dried chamomile flowers in a tea bag and then I'm going to add it to the olive oil inside a double boiler and let it simmer for a couple of hours. Now let's go get some oat milk. Here at the store there are different options and you want to make sure that you get the version without any sugars or additives. As you can see, there are different kinds of vegan milks here, like soy, rice and almond milk. It's a great alternative for vegan milk soaps. Back at the workshop we are now going to start our project. What I'm going to do is to replace about 50% of the water amount in the lye solution with oat milk, meaning that I will measure out the oat milk and then subtract this amount from the water amount in the lye solution that you will see in just a second. Let's measure out the distilled water minus the oat milk that we just prepared before. I add the full amount of lye called for in my recipe and then mix well to dissolve the lye until the lye solution looks clear. You can add sodium lactate to your lye solution if you want the bar to harden faster. I personally always do so. Once the lye solution and the oils are about the same temperature, I'm going to add the concentrated lye solution using a strainer just to make sure that no undissolved lye gets into the oils. Then I'm adding the stick blender and get the mixture to emulsion. I personally prefer to soap very cool, so I have time to work and the batter stays nice and fluid. At this point, I'm going to add the oat milk that makes up the rest of our liquid part of the lye solution. And then also, again, stick blend until everything is emulsified. I am not going to add any color or any fragrance to this recipe as it is supposed to be a very gentle soap for sensitive skin. Let's pour our soap into the mold. This is my rectangle silicon mold and you can find the link in the description box below along with all other tools, ingredients and equipment that I am using or recommending. I like to place my mold on a tray so I can move the project around easily if I need the space. As you can see, the soap butter is still relatively fluid and I absolutely like it. Once all cavities are filled, the only thing left to do is to wait for a couple of days before trying to take the soaps out of the mold. The reason why I like to give it a couple of days is because the soap recipe has a high percentage of liquid oils and we soaped very cool. You can of course spritz the tops with rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. It's a couple of days later and it looks like the soap is ready to be taken out. I like to stretch the mold around the soap to determine if it's ready to unmold. And if it sticks to the sides, I'm just leaving it a couple of days longer. There is no need to rush. And if the soap is hard enough to be taken out, it will be very nice looking and crisp. 
I do have other projects here on my channel on how to make soap with different kinds of milks. For example, donkey milk, goat milk, almond milk and also coconut milk. I will also leave a link down in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're interested in other soap making videos and skincare DIY. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I hope to see you around here very soon for another video and in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye!